Good morning, and welcome to your daily Farm and Home Show, brought to you by the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. And now, here's your host. Good morning, I'm Joanna Coles, and this week we are celebrating Beef Month with Kaya Twisman. She is the Director of Consumer Affairs at the Kentucky Beef Council. Good morning, Good Kaya. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. You know, we just celebrated, we're going to celebrate Beef Month all month long, yes. but May we think of Derby too. Yep. And so you guys have a burger especially for to celebrate the Derby. Yes, so we partner with the Kentucky Derby Festival and Kroger, and this year was our seventh year actually for the Derby Burger Challenge. So it's a contest that anybody in Kentucky can enter into if they think they have Kentucky's best burger. And we narrow it down to the top eight. We send it to online voting. We let everybody else choose. The top four actually do a cookout on live television in Louisville to name the winning Derby Burger. And we have the winning Derby Burger today that we're gonna cook with you. That is so awesome. This and is, go ahead. Go no, tell me all about this it. This is called the D to the double B, or the Derby Bourbon <laughs> Burger. And um, it was made by Jay Neubacher out of Louisville. So he was our winner this year. And so you guys are gonna take this burger all year long, even way well past Derby. Oh yeah. And so it's bourbon mm -hmm. and you guys are celebrating bourbon as well. Yes, so our theme for Beef Month this year is Beef Bourbon Bluegrass because we wanna celebrate Kentucky and what better way to celebrate Kentucky than with the flavors of beef and bourbon. <laughs> Absolutely, so tell us how we get started. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I'm going to make our spice rub for our burger patty. So we're using an 80-20 blend of ground beef. Mm -hmm. um, we like 80-20 because that lean to fat ratio really helps the burger stick together well. And so that's why we choose this blend here. Um, but for our spice rub, we're gonna start with a little bit of garlic powder. You know me, Joanna, you yes. know I love garlic powder. Absolutely. So garlic powder is gonna be the start. A little bit of salt. That's good, always. And then we have a little bit of bourbon smoked paprika. Oh, now that's nice. Yeah, it is so good. And I guess that's where the bourbon comes into play. Yes, okay. that's where our bourbon comes into play here. Um, and then we have a few other ingredients as well that we're gonna put into it. Um, so we have that paprika. We have a little bit of, um, I'm totally blanking on what the season Chili powder. Chili powder, thank you. <laughs> like, Joanna, you helped me with this. We have some chili powder here. <laughs> And Old Bay seasoning. And Old Bay all-purpose seasoning. So we use Old Bay, um, but if you have like a steak seasoning at home, you can mix whatever seasonings you like in there. Um, but that bourbon smoked paprika gives you that hint of the bourbon flavor. Yeah, right. And I just love this smoky flavor. It, it just adds a lot to it. Um, so there's a lot of flavor. There's that's a be lot of flavor in packed in here. Now we already have our patties pattied out. So yes. how are we going to incorporate that in? So some people like to mix it into their patties, which works out well, just so you have that flavor distributed all the way through. But mm -hmm. we're just going to coat it kind of like a rub you would do on a steak. Oh, okay. So we're just going to put it on top, rub it in there. You can be generous with it. You can also pre-prepare the seasoning. And if you like it, you can go ahead and put it in a spice jar. And this can be um, a multi-purpose. Your go-to. Yeah, a multi-purpose yeah. seasoning you can use all year round. So we're just gonna coat both sides of this burger patty. And then we're gonna put it on the grill at medium-high heat. And we're gonna wait till we get it to about 160 degrees internal temperature. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on here. All right, perfect. So we already have our grill nice and hot. Oh, I hear the sizzle, Kaya. You hear the sizzle. <laughs> and then it's important, too, that you shut your grill because that is going to make sure that you cook that burger evenly all the way through to its center. So set it and forget it. We always say that if you're looking, you're not cooking. Yeah, so <laughs> let it go. So we so have one that's finished here yes. that's already been grilled and we're gonna top it okay we're gonna top it with some provolone cheese Yum. it's more of a mild cheese but it's really well you can put it on afterwards or we like to wait for that last 30 seconds to a minute that the burger's on the grill and just throw it on there and it'll get nice and melty nice and melty okay so is there a rhyme or reason or can i just you can start, just do as you like here we have some okay. shredded, le shredded lettuce we have some pre-crumbled bacon bits here. Oh, bacon, bacon and bourbon, beef. beef. I, I mean, mean, all the bees, <laughs> all the bees of the bluegrass. And then we pre-sauteed some mushrooms and onions. Uh -huh. um, and we're topping that off as well. So you get your serving of veggies along with your beef, which is super good. Yes. And then the last secret ingredient for this is the special sauce. Oh, now tell me about this special sauce. So what I love about this special sauce is it is just three ingredients, but it oh. tastes like it's very fancy. Um, but it is just one part ketchup. Mm -hmm one part mayo, and then just one single chili pepper in adobo sauce. And you can get them in the can, just take one of those out and throw it in there. And we mixed ours in a food processor here. You can do it in a blender. If you have one of those Nutrivita mixes, you can even do it in one of those too. And then what I love about it is you can pre-prepare it kind of like you can with the spice mix. And we just put it in this squeeze bottle right here. So then we can go ahead and just top and just this put guy. it on? Yep. So Perfect. you can just put that on there. Oh, and I like to put a lot. I don't know about you, but <laughs> top it on there with your special sauce. 
and, and there then, you have it. Perfect. Your Derby bourbon burger. All right. Well, what a great recipe. I mean, packed with flavor, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. And we can find this on KentuckyBeef.com? Yes. Find it at KYBeef.com. We have this recipe as well as our other bourbon infused recipes that we're promoting during Beef Month. Um, right. And some exciting other things about how people can join our promotion as well. All right. Well, thanks, Kaya. And thanks for watching. If you have questions about today's topic, please call the Warren County Extension Office at the number on your screen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.